The first step uh, is what? So the company first needs to identify which product or which service is the core product and focus on that one. Um, why? Uh, because costs are um, depend costs depend on that, and also the the monitoring and all the strategy depends on that. So you don't have ten products that you want to focus on. You just have to focus on one or two. The second thing, is when you identify which one, you have to identify how, meaning how to protect that core product or service you identified as the core. That means that if you have a product, you need to sit down and think about, okay, we have a potential patent, yes, no. If we don't want our technology or method to be disclosed, then the better protection is to keep it secret with trade secrets, which means different kind of protection. You have trademark design, it's the same thing. So you just don't do it like that in five minutes. You really need to think about, sit down and prepare it as a strategy. Because the third step next is what, how, where. Only core markets. Why? Again, costs are related to that. So there is no world trademark, there is no world patent because you're not at that point Nike or Adidas. And if you ask them, they have budget bigger than companies, some companies' revenue just for that, but they grew. Okay, so if you're small, you just need to protect on the markets that you want to sell the most and you don't want competitors to run you over. So maybe three, USA, European Union, China, especially from defensive um, reasons. And that's it. For the beginning, it's enough. The fourth question is how the business model. When you made all those three steps and you written them, then you need to decide what business model you want to focus on because that depends um, on the contracts, on partners, because every contract uh, with every jurisdiction has its own uh, specialty specialties. So NDA for USA, for example, it's not the same as NDA for China. And you need to really be aware of that. So just signing some contracts and feeling good about it, it's not the case. Signing some distribution contracts and feeling good about it, it's not the case. You really need to think in all those contracts how your IP will be protected, what it can be done, what they can do, and also give them some guidelines and then in enforce that. It's really important to monitor your partners and that's the fifth step, to monitor your business partners, monitor your employees and the market. Because if you don't monitor the market, what's going on there and what competition is doing with your products, then everything you did before, everything you invested in, it doesn't make any sense. You lost everything. So you have to be careful, you have to monitor and you have to enforce if that is necessary, if the damage is done to you.